T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Vehicle is supersonic. We're just over one minute into flight. Falcon 9 is passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We Vehicle is experiencing max Q. You've heard the call out. We're now experiencing maximum dynamic pressure where the velocity of the first stage and the density of the Earth's atmosphere combine to create the greatest loads on the rocket. We're through that period. Merlin engines have throttled back up to full power. Propulsion indicates nominal. Power and telemetry also reported nominal. Next major activity, just a little under a minute from now, we'll have the Everybody main chill. engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. T plus two minutes into flight. We've got about another half a minute left in the first stage burn. Trajectory looks good. We're going right down the middle of the track. We've got a great view from the ground looking up at the Merlin engine plume on the Falcon 9. Main engine cutoff of the nine Merlin engines in about 10 seconds. Eco. Stage separation. Good recognition. Coming up on three minutes into flight, you hear the applause here from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. We've had a good first stage shutdown, a stage separation, and a good ignition of the upper stage engine. Right after ignition, you may have seen a couple of pieces of metal coming off the nozzle. That's normal. Those are stiffeners that go around the bottom of the nozzle for use in transporting on the ground. They fall off as we go into flight. Next event coming up in about 10 seconds, we're going to wait and watch for fairing separation. Second stage is following nominal trajectory. Fairing separation confirmed. Again, the applause. You saw a good payload fairing separation. The fairing separating into the two halves and falling away. We're coming up on four minutes into flight. GNC reports trajectory is good. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. Acquisition of signal Bermuda indicates that the Falcon 9 telemetry is also being acquired by our ground tracking station in Bermuda. Upper stage engine power continues to be constant. Thrust to the Merlin Vacuum D engine is good.
We're coming up on T plus five minutes into flight. Looking at the trajectory map, Falcon 9 continues to go right along the planned path, heading east from Cape Canaveral into the first of two orbits planned for this evening. Now currently, we're planning to burn that upper stage engine for just about another three and a half minutes. We may also hear call outs in a little more than a minute of entry burn. The first stage, as I mentioned, will go through the pre-programmed re-entry and landing sequence, but there's no drone ship station out in the stormy Atlantic to be able to catch the first stage. Coming up on six minutes into flight, we've got another just over two and a half minutes to go on the second stage engine. Very quiet on the net. Falcon 9 second stage with the ISPASAT satellite attached, performing nominally as we head downrange from Cape Canaveral. Currently second stage uh, will be accelerating up to about four Gs. As a reminder, the ISPASAT 30W6 satellite as Elon has tweeted out, is massing over six metrics tons. That's over 6,000 kilograms. And that is the largest geostationary satellite we've ever flown. Given the size, as you... You heard entry burn start in the background here. As I mentioned, going through the pre-programmed sequence. And we have shutdown of stage one on the entry burn. That'll leave its landing burn coming up in about a minute and a half. Second stage continuing to run. Everything looking good on stage two. Seven and a half minutes into flight. The glowing nozzle on the upper stage engine, that's expected. Shows the engine's running just like we uh, want it to be. We've got cameras on the back of the second stage giving us these live views. We're about a minute away from Seco, second stage engine cutoff number one. That will leave us in a parking orbit. Once we get engine shut down, we'll wait for the guidance engineer to confirm that we have a good orbit. Vehicle is in terminal guidance. We heard a call out vehicle in terminal guidance. We're getting ready to go into orbit. Coming up on 4G's acceleration. Flight termination system on stage two is safe. Seco. We've got shutdown of the second stage engine. The completion of the first burn on time. Waiting to hear a call out. Good orbital insertion. And there it is, we've heard good orbital insertion of the second stage, still carrying the ISPASAT 30W6 satellite.